We're here to put the first coat of varnish on our Old Town Yacht Tender. Now it's been sealed a couple of times with 1026 Interlux Sealer. One coat was applied to the back of the planks before we put them onto the framing. And then since that time, we've applied one more coat of 1026 to the interior of the boat, as well as the gunnels and the knees and the inside of the transom. So we had to prep it up from there for varnish. And what we did on most of the interior was just simply rub it down with a little brown scotch bright pad because the original sealer has raised the grain in between the frames and raised the grain on the frames a little bit and we didn't want to use any sandpaper or anything to get rid of that because we knew we would scratch the surface we didn't want to do that I mean, this is a little dinghy that's being used all the time but we're still trying to make it look as nice as we can make it look and uh, we actually prepped up in between the frames going vertically against the grain of that cedar plank and and of course, all of it was done vertically in between and that kind of scrubbed off all of that fuzz and some of the little brush hairs and different things that were left on it. On some of the flat surfaces, we also used uh, like just 220 uh, paper because it actually makes it much smoother than this does. This kind of roughs the surface and allows the varnish to stick to the sealer coat. But if you want that surface to be flat, you're going to have to sand it. This doesn't really flatten the surface. It really just kind of preps it up to grip the varnish. So those are the two things that we used. And then after that was done, we took a brush and we brushed the inside of it and we vacuumed it and cleaned out everything that we could get cleaned out by then. Wipe it down with alcohol and a rag and that picked up quite a bit. And after that was done, we picked up a tack cloth and we tacked the whole inside of the boat vertically and in between the frames and every surface so that we'd get every little last bit of dust off of it. All right, I've got an old can of varnish here and I've removed the top and actually poked some holes in the uh, uh, receiver for the top around so that when I pour it the varnish will run back down the holes that's the purpose for that and actually what I'm going to do now is just strain it through this little strainer into this quart container and strain the whole thing right through there all at once now, I don't want to fill the strainer all the way up to the top because then when I handle the strainer it would get all over me and I'm trying to avoid that well, as that drains down, I'll just keep draining the can here a little bit. So now I'm going to set the can down right beside me here. And I'll just shake her up here a little bit. We've transferred the strainer back over to the can, and this is what we're going to use to apply to the boat. Now, I'd like to show you the brush that I'm going to use to apply the varnish now. This is a China bristle brush. It's not the most expensive brush in the world, but they work quite nicely. The trouble with them usually is, is they've made the bristles too long for the stiffness that the bristles are and you have a little bit of a hard time moving the varnish with one of these. So the simple cure for that is to box the bristles up near the heel with a little bit of tape and that allows you to move your fingers down and hold it without being involved in the bristles and spreading the bristles when you squeeze the brush. The bristles are a little bit corralled this way, it becomes a little stiffer at the end. It allows you to move the varnish better. It also makes it so that the varnish doesn't creep up the bristles quite so fast and so high and get involved in the heel so that when you strip the tape off afterwards, it's easier to clean the brush out in mineral spirits than it would be if you hadn't boxed it like this with this tape. All right, I'm just about to start applying the varnish here and uh, I've talked this over quite a bit with Kenneth about a procedure because this is quite a complicated little thing to varnish actually here. There's a lot of surfaces and edges and different things to get around and you just wouldn't want to start off and varnish say the gunnel first and have to lean over it. So there is a procedure. So Kenneth is now applying the varnish and he's starting just under the gunnel, not where he'd get involved in it with his shirt or anything like that and he's doing one bay between the frames and then one frame and then making sure that we don't have a lot of extra varnish to run out under the seat riser then he'll pick up on it under the seat riser and continue down to the keel and we're going to do the entire side first and then switch over to the other side we've decided that we do the whole interior of the boat then come around and work on the transom and do the gunnels last. As you can see the way he's applying this varnish, first off he's picking up the right amount, an anticipated amount each time on the brush when he goes to the pot. 
so we're simply dabbing it on the side of the pot so that it knocks off a little bit of the varnish without wiping it all off the brush. And then he's dabbing it around in different spots so that he doesn't dump all the varnish off the brush in one spot and then have to move it around. He's actually distributed it a little bit and then move it around. It makes it a lot easier and go a lot faster. Now, the varnish is, like I say, it's fairly thick and uh, it's covering fantastic. really a result of having a brush that's able to move the varnish, a system for going about it, and also, you know, a feel for it because you have to understand how much varnish you're going to pick up each time, how much area it's going to cover, so that you can motor along quite fast. And he's very careful here not to put too much varnish in any one spot so we don't get runs down the sides of the frames. It's kind of intricate to do and it's coming out fantastic. We're motoring right along on that side brushing it out nice. And then we're gonna go right onto the quarter knee on the port side aft. So now Kenneth is just finishing up the inboard side of the transom here, and uh, it's looking fantastic. This is the first coat of varnish that we've put on over the sealer. It's probably ultimately gonna get three more coats over this, but we're gonna apply one more coat after this one after a short period of time, and then the boat's gonna sit for a little bit before we sand in between the next coats. The next coat will just be, uh, this will be prepped by simply scotch brighten it without sanding it, and the next coat will be applied.